Do you know what's worse than being tased? Being tased naked. Without the protection of your clothes, there's nothing protecting you from being electrocuted with 50,000 volts. So here's some free fashion advice. Loose or thin clothes make it easier for the taser probes to make contact with your skin. But on the other hand, heavier bulky clothes may reduce the effectiveness of the taser, but won't completely neutralize it. What can you do to protect yourself from the shock of a taser? Well, meet your new best friend, carbon fiber tape. This material can make you immune to taser shocks because it's an excellent conductor of electricity. When the shock is released, the carbon fiber forces the current to pass through it. You know, instead of you. If you're heading to a situation where you might encounter trigger-happy authorities, your best bet is to make a few alterations to your regular coat by cutting into the lining and adding the carbon fiber tape. Picking the wrong outfit can be a messy mistake when being hit by a taser, but that's not the worst thing you can do. On this episode, we're exposing the key things to avoid if you ever wind up in this situation. Now let's see what you're up against. When it comes to law enforcement and personal defense, the taser has become a popular choice. But what exactly is a taser and how does it work? Tasers or stun guns are devices designed to incapacitate you by transmitting an electrical shock to your body. It all starts when two small darts or probes are fired from the taser using compressed nitrogen. It shoots out thin wires that can measure up to 11 meters long. The probes spread out and stab into your skin and that's when things get painful. Once the darks make contact, they send an electric shock through your body, 50,000 volts worth. This shock is so intense that it disrupts your nervous system and causes your muscles to instantly contract. And yeah, it's as painful as it looks. So while there isn't a right way to be electrocuted, there is definitely a wrong way. If you make any of the mistakes in this video, the results could be shocking. Get it? Like a taser. You know what? Forget it. Let's just start. So your first instinct after being shot is probably to get the heck out of there. But running away could make things a whole lot worse. When you run, the taser probes have a higher chance of spreading out around your body. When the probes are closer together, the shock is localized to a certain area of your body causing pain in one spot. But when the probes spread out, so does the pain, leading to full body ache. If you're about to get tased, it's actually safer to stay close to the person shooting you. I know, it sounds crazy. The further away you are, the more it's going to hurt. But what happens when you can't stop moving? The pain of a taser can skyrocket if you're not careful. When being tased, it's important to stay still and avoid moving around, as it can push the probes deeper into your body, especially in areas rich with nerves like the face, neck, armpits, or groin. Moving around too much can also affect the behavior of something even more dangerous than a taser, the person firing the taser. Unfortunately, due to the reality that many law enforcement officials often use excessive force, screaming for help or thrashing in a panic may make things worse for you. The officer who tased you will likely be more than willing to tase you again. If you are highly defiant or showing an emotional reaction, cops tend to take that as a threat and will use it as an excuse for repeated tasing. And if they claimed you were experiencing something called excited delirium, you might not make it out alive. Being impaired by drugs or alcohol significantly increases the risk of physiological abnormalities when being tased. When you're under the influence, your body's ability to respond to stress and danger is compromised. This means that even if you're in the best physical shape of your life, you could be actually more vulnerable. In several cases, the taser can trigger a heart attack or respiratory failure. It's also important to remember that these dangers also apply to vulnerable individuals like the elderly, people who are pregnant, and those with illnesses or disabilities. These individuals may already have underlying health conditions that can go from bad to worse. So let's say you manage to survive your harrowing experience with the taser. Even if you're feeling okay, you need to seek medical attention. 
Taser probes are designed to penetrate skin and they leave behind wounds that need proper care and treatment. If not addressed properly, these wounds can become infected and worsen, leading to long-term health issues. And let's not forget tasers have severe life-threatening effects on your body. Intense electrical shock can cause brain function abnormalities and seizures. Not to mention the pain caused by the nasty fall you took. Looking for more tips on the do's and don'ts of survival? What are the biggest mistakes to avoid in a car crash? Can the clutter in your car increase the risk of death? Get all the answers here on How to Survive.